What's up, everybody? Uh, today, getting ready to go to Florida. I'm in the Jeep, fix and take it to have the tires uh, rotated and balanced and all that good stuff, have the oil changed. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell, but there is snow here now. I don't know where that came from. We wasn't really supposed to get any, and we may have got an inch, inch and a half, nothing major. It's 29 degrees right now while I'm on my way out through here. But uh, we're gonna take it to the tire store, have them rotate it and balance the tires, make sure. I got a little shimmy in the steering wheel at um, at about 60, 65 mile an hour, but I do run the big mud tread on this, so maybe that's to be expected. We'll find out after they get them balanced and stuff like that and get them put back on. Uh, fix it, run into some traffic up here, so I'm gonna get off here. Uh, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, just got through the traffic. Um, so I think it's important to rotate your tires. I know people around here that never rotate their tires. I'm sure some of you guys never do that either, but I think that's very important. I think that has a lot to do with the life of your tire. Um, nobody likes buying tires. Tires are stupid expensive, and why not try to preserve them the best you can? Now, I will have to pay for this rotation and balance, but if I had bought my tires from here, if it wasn't the one that came on the vehicle, or I could take this back to the place that the person that bought these tires had got them, uh, usually that stuff's free. Now, it does take a little bit of your time to do that, but it's worth the, the extra time to take your vehicle, to take care of it, take care of your tires and stuff like that, just to save that little bit of extra money. Um, another thing is you can make sure that you know, your tires run the right pressure and stuff like that so they wear evenly and make sure your alignment is good. Not too long ago, I did a vlog about going to get an alignment. Um, so I did have an alignment on this Jeep not too long ago, um, especially if you're running like a soft mud terrain or something like I am. Uh, that is going to be the life of those tires. Um, they wear out quickly anyway, and it is just how it is. And you might as well try to take as good a care of them as you can because fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars for a set of tires is ridiculous. Now I do want to say I am going to do a video on my way to Florida. Um, I'm going to check. I bought a depth uh, tire depth gauge uh, checker. I am going to uh, check that depth of my tread right now. I'm going to drive this to Florida around in Orlando, drive it back home, and then check the tread depth again and just see exactly how bad do mud terrain wear on the highway can you even tell a difference i mean that's a that's probably going to be close to a 2000 mile trip by the time it's all said and done give or take but um that's going to be a, a pretty long trip and we'll just see how much wear actually happens on these big mud terrain tires um coming close up here to getting ready to pull in to have the oil change and stuff like that so uh, i'll holler back at you guys here as soon as i get all that done Okay, uh, just got the oil changed and the tires rotated and balanced and all that. That took over two hours. <sighs> That's a long time. I watched a lot of YouTube videos, replied to a lot of YouTube comments and posted a few pictures on Instagram. Uh, to keep myself preoccupied. But um, we're gonna see here in a minute just if the back is any better or anything like that. Just now left the place actually and I'm fixing to have to go take my CRV to get the, uh, the oil changed in it. <laughs> We've still not changed the oil in it. It's been like three, three and a half years now. I don't know. Uh, testament to Honda, I guess. But that thing is still trucking like nobody's business. Runs pretty quiet, too. As far as I know, there's no leaks or anything like that. So, I don't know. It's pretty amazing, actually. But we're gonna take that and finally get the oil change for the first time we've owned that vehicle. Now that being said, she's really only about 15 or 1600 miles over an oil change, nothing major, um, but it still needs to be done. And when I say over, I'm talking about over by 3000. So she's probably at like 55, 5600 miles, give or take, on an oil change. So it's not incredibly over, it's just way over on years. So we're gonna take that and have that done. Thing will probably blow up now that I get that. Holy crap, water just come through on my top. I've never had water leak on this thing. I don't know where it just came from, but you've seen it here, water just leaked. Uh, but my daughter has a bunch of pink stuff in her vehicle. I'm looking forward to really taking that down the road while I'm driving it. Uh, a little bit embarrassing there. I'll make sure to throw in that that's not my vehicle when I take it and have it done. The, uh, at 40 mile an hour, it 
feels decent, but I can't go anywhere because there's slow people in front of me and I can't get up to any kind of amount of speed to see if this thing's still vibrating or not. So I'll have to let y'all know that later. On a further note, uh, I'm gonna try to still get my live stream in tonight. Uh, around seven o'clock-ish, I actually have a massage appointment I uh, try to loosen my back up a little bit before I go on this long trip, and I have that set up for 5.15. So hopefully I'll get done with that about 6.15, run back home. I may be a little oily and a little greasy uh, when I get back home after that, but we're still going to try to do that live stream on time or around time. So uh, just heading home now, and I'll be back whenever I get my daughter's vehicle and see about getting the oil changed in it. See you in a minute. Okay, we're in the CRV. We're taking it to have the oil changed. I want you to look at this. Pink steering wheel cover, pink thing on this, pink down here. There's pink everywhere. This is embarrassing. But anyway, we're gonna take it and have the oil change finally. Uh, I do wanna say I did take my Jeep on out the road. I'm a little bit irritated. Actually, I'm a lot irritated. I sat out there for over two hours and they didn't even put weights on three of the tires. Only one of my tires has weights on it. You can plainly see where they took the weights off of it that were on it prior, or either one, they didn't clean it good enough for the weights to stick and it threw the weights off, which I never did hear anything sling off. If you've ever had one of the sticky weights sling off, you know you can usually hear it slap up against something. I didn't hear anything. So I think they just forgot to put weights on it. Now that's really irritating that I sat there for two hours for an oil change and a tire rotation and balance and they half assed it. Come on, people. You got one job. It's a tire store. Jesus. I don't know. Now I got to take it back and probably wait another hour like I've got time for that. God, that makes me mad. I know I'm complaining, but I hate it when you pay somebody to do something and then you got to take it back from to do it the second time because they're incompetent enough that they can't do it the first time right. It's balancing a tire. Let me have access to the machine. I'll put the tire on it, spin it, and tell where the weight goes, and I can clean it. They should. First of all, I don't think they clean these tires, or wheels. I don't think they clean them. I think you should have like a little bottle of alcohol there to where you can actually clean that spot a little bit, just like I do on all my installs, and then uh, stick those weights to them. They're probably going to stick a whole lot better than they are on them dirty wheels that that they just usually stick them to anyway. If you'll pay attention when you go get your tires balanced, you'll never see a clean spot where those weights are because they don't care that God grasps me. But anyway, off my off my griping session, I'm, I apologize. I just want y'all to know the frustration that is real. But we're gonna take this CRV to have the oil changed. It runs like a top or seems to run like a top. I don't ever drive it. I think I've drove it three times the whole time she's owned it. But, um, cause I did have the oil change right when I bought it, like the first day I bought it and I've never had the oil change since. And that was on 11 2017 so almost uh, two and a half years ago. I thought it was three, but I guess about two and a half years ago, I don't know, but it's never had the oil change that length of time. Got 219,627,000 miles on it. Still runs pretty quiet. Air quit working last year, but hey, stuff don't work forever, I guess. And it's probably not worth fixing. But I'm gonna head up here, get this oil changed. Um, hopefully they get the oil in it. Uh, they did put oil in my um, in my Jeep. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. I usually ran 520, they put 020. <laughs> it's like pushing a rope when you take your car somewhere. I swear to God, I don't understand. I just don't understand the problem or the disconnect when it comes to stuff like this. I don't know. They should ask you what oil you want. I even told them I use 520. I don't know. I just, I just don't know, man. Anyway, I'll be back here in a minute. Whenever we get this oil changed, and I'll tell you how that goes. Hopefully, it goes better than the Jeep. Who knows? Okay, so this is done. Those people at that Valvoline place was super nice. Now I know they get paid to be nice, but they were crazy nice there. And uh, I'm taking my Jeep back there right now, actually, uh, here in just a few minutes. 
I got a few things I need to do, but since they put the wrong oil in it to other place, I don't know how big a difference that makes, but that's not what Mopar recommended, and we're changing it immediately. Uh, so the place I took my tires to have them rotated, they did the balance wrong. They put the wrong weight oil in it, and hopefully they actually did, you know, rotate them. But two of the three jobs, they got wrong. Merry Christmas on that $85. I'll never step foot back on your lot again. Um, that place comes highly recommended. You fail two out of three times on something pretty easy to do. I'm not going back. So uh, that's a waste of money right there. And we'll call it a day and give that to them and hope they buy something nice for somebody. But but I won't be going back there. And I'm actually going, like I said, going to go have the Jeep redone again. I actually did buy some more Lucas to go in it. So this is going to be in a very, very expensive oil change for me. Uh, going to take it back up there. If I wasn't going to Florida, I might not worry about it as bad. But uh, going to Florida, um, I want the correct weight oil in it that it calls for. And uh, I definitely want the tires uh, balanced right. So I will actually pay somebody else to do that. So live and learn, I guess. That's the first time I'd ever really dealt with this place. And I'll never go back there again. So uh, I may be back on here in a minute whenever I get back to the Jeep to take it yet again for its second oil change of the day. So uh, see y'all here in a few minutes. Okay, I wanted to show y'all that this is what happened. Now on the left or right rear tire, I mean, you can see the brand new weights right there. So you can see the new weights that were added and put on uh, to balance this tire. Now, if we go up to the front tire here, you can see where they took the old ones off, but it, and right here, I think there was two sets of old ones on it that they took off. You can tell this is old tape and not new tape. Um, but if you go around this tire, there is no more weights on this tire at all. Now, if we go around to this side, when you get on this side, you can see the same thing. Right here is where they took the old weights off. And no weights at all now this is a real old set back in the day but no weights at all and on the back tire as well you can see right here now this looks like they may have put some brand new ones right here it does look like it's brand new but as you go around more tape here i'm sure this is where they took the old one off this does look new and you can actually no no this is not this is this is the old stuff because see the scratch right here that they put on my rim that's where they took the screwdriver to pry this off. So this is the old weights they took off as well. And you can tell this looks kind of dingy. This is old weight. And then if you go all the way around, uh, there is no weights on this tire. Anyway. So isn't that great? Uh, you had two out of three jobs you got wrong. And I just want to show you guys, there was no new weights on three of those tires. You could see where he plainly dug the weight off the other one and didn't put any back on. It's real sad when you take your vehicle to a tire store and they screw up the tire part. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.